Okay, we're gonna check the DCM draw on the Ranger 2970N2. We just got this one in. We're gonna do amps draw AM first. So there we go. We're gonna we got it on amps 100 amp max. We're gonna zero that out. That's DC amps right there. DC amperage Ranger N2. Dead key. 26.9 amps drawing on dead key AM. Audio. Audio. One, two, one, two, one, two. A little over 26 amps DC draw on AM. This is coming off of our 100 amp power supply. We're going to lower sideband. I will re zero it. DC amps, 100 amps. Zero this again. Okay, we are now on lower sideband. Audio. Hello, hello, hello. One, two, hello. About 27 amps max. So, why did Ranger tell me these things draw 60 amps? Why did Ranger tell me that my other radio was fine and it was pulling over 50 amps? Evidently, somebody's lying and Ranger gave me some wrong information. Again, we're going to zero this out. Sideband. So I've seen it go up to 34 amps on sideband. This is with the 100 amps coming into it. Audio. One, two. Audio. Okay, we're going to go to upper sideband. Audio. So we're starting to see a max of 34 amps on sideband. That is with our RF power and mic gain all the way up. I have these all the way up on the radio. RF power and mic gain all the way up. Back to AM. Audio. One, two, one, two. Audio. Back to sideband, sideband, one, two, sideband, audio, audio. Looks like the radio pulls about 34 amp sideband, a 50 amp power supply should have held it. There shouldn't have been any issue. This thing is pretty much stock from the factory. Let's see what we got on watts now. Watts here, 300 watts scale. Lower sideband, audio, audio, about 220 lower sideband, AM, audio, audio, about 180 on AM, and that is the readings we are getting on the new Ranger. We did a test on a, we did not test the last one, I didn't have this, uh, I didn't have this meter last time, but uh, yeah, there was there was definitely something wrong with the last one. Um, we'll get some audio checks out there, and we'll get back.